So what is logotherapy in action? Okay, and we, I've just put down a few points here for you to, to probably start practicing this in your own life. Okay, and it's, it's important. It's important that you do that. Each one of us has possibly done that in our own way, but it's important for us to do that as well, right? So find a why. So I heard in the previous session, some of you said, I want to start an NGO. Somebody said a very brilliant thing about stray dogs. Somebody spoke about, you know, taking care of the cattle. Somebody spoke about agriculture. Uh, somebody spoke about climate change, all of that kind of stuff. It's good to have a why in your life. So when, uh, you know, when, when you were asked to present this idea that, okay, where do you see yourself 20 years from now? The most common idea I heard in that limited time that I was sitting here was I want to have a corporate job at the end of 20 years. I want to have a good financial package and good family life and everything is settled. You know, all of that is secondary. If you're not ready for it, you are never going to get it. And trust me on that. I'm talking from 26 years of, of corporate experience. It doesn't work, that doesn't matter that. When I started off, I thought I will have, you know, by now at this age, I, I should have at least, you know, 10, 15, 20, 30, 40 million dollars in my bank. It, I don't have that kind of money. You have to keep going at it. You have to keep learning. You have to keep improvising. Find your why. Find your why. Why are you going to go through all of this? Why are you going to do this? Why do you care about stray dogs? Why do you care about the cattle? Why do you care about agriculture? You find your why. If you are able to answer to one person in this world that this is my why and this is why I want to do it, you're sorted. Somebody spoke about a very good thing about talking to yourself, right? I don't know where the person is. But it's very interesting. I do that very often. So, like Nasir sir said, you know, it's always nice to talk to yourself. It's a brilliant technique. Speak to yourself. Because only you know what you're capable of. And always try and keep this in mind that don't try to disappoint yourself. The only, and that's the reason why I kept this, this session's name, Be Selfish. The only person you are responsible to in this whole world is your own self. Keep that in mind. The day you're not able to stand in front of the mirror, look into your own self eye to eye, feel ashamed of yourself, that's a problem day. Try doing that. Try doing that for a week or 10 days and you'll see the difference. You'll realize that when you talk to yourself, you're motivating, you are your own motivation. So find your why, it's very, very important. 